Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef. Today I'm going to show you Pampered Chef's Cherry and Olive Pitter. I have some cherries here and this product is so easy to use and usually I don't have to do this job at my house because Christian and Connor both really enjoy pitting these cherries for me. It's a lot of fun and it's really easy. So if this is the first time that you're watching my videos, please hit the subscribe button while you're here. And I also have a recipe community that you can find by going to theflipflopchef.com. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will do my best to respond um, to everything that you need to know. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have our cherry and olive pitter here. I have a cut and store container because this is where we're gonna store the pitted cherries. And then I have our small stainless mesh colander, which I use to rinse and drain these fresh cherries. And then I have one of our small plastic mixing bowls. Now I'm just gonna dump out any little bits of water that might still be in there. And we're going to first need to remove the pits, or excuse me, the stems from the cherries. So I'm gonna just do a few of these and then I'm gonna show you how this works. And then I'll finish most of this off camera because you don't need to see this over and over and over again. But I love all of these products, makes this really easy. So our stainless mesh colander set is a set of three colanders. You get the small, medium, and the large. They actually go very nicely with our plastic mixing bowl sets and our glass mixing bowl set and our stainless mixing bowl set. So I love that most of our products or many of our products do complement other products that we sell. So let me give a few more of these and then we're gonna take the pits out. So I'm gonna toss these stems and then we're going to take our, uh, let's see, put these in here. And then we're gonna take our cherry bitter and I'm actually gonna zoom in so that you can get a closer look at this product. There is a little insert that fits your olives. Now I will tell you I've never used this for olives because I do not eat olives. There are only a few foods <laughs> that I really, really don't like and olives are like near the top of the list. So um, this insert here is for olives because they are smaller than the cherries. So we're gonna leave this insert in for the cherries and the pits are gonna collect in the base here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take four cherries and I just place them stem side up. So remember we pulled off those stems. So we're gonna stick these in here like that. And then you just press down and look, there are the pits and here are the cherries. So you can just toss these in like that. I'm gonna show you a couple more times so that you can see how this is done. Christian can do a whole bag of cherries in no time at all. <laughs> I'm always impressed by how quickly he can do this. So this is a great way to enjoy fresh cherries when they're in season and not have to bite on those pits. So this is Pampered Chef's Cherry and Olive Pitter, perfect for cherries and olives if you like both of them. <laughs> and it's dishwasher safe, so it's very, very easy to clean. What I'll do now is I'll just toss all of these pits in the garbage and put these pieces in the dishwasher. The mixing bowls and the stainless colanders are also dishwasher safe, so they're very, all very easy to clean. The unique thing about the cut and store container here is that this lid doubles as a cutting board. So if you wanted to use this for strawberries or maybe um, a block, of, block or two of cheese that you're taking somewhere, whether it's to the beach or work, um, you have a cutting board built right in. So you can take whatever is inside of your cut and store container, put it on the cutting board, cut it up, and then when you're ready to store it, you just snap this lid right on. The cut and store containers come in a set of two. So you get two containers and two lids. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products, please use the shop button on my YouTube channel, or you can reach out to me if you'd like to shop on someone's party to boost their sales. If this is the first time that you're watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also check out my recipe community at theflipflopchef.com. I have more videos coming, so stay tuned for more, but that's all I have for you today. Bye everyone.